Poland's historic presidential palace and a banquet given tonight in honor of the Queen by President Krasniewski, a former communist who succeeded Lech Wałęsa last November amid considerable bitterness. Beef, incidentally, was on the menu, Polish beef. Poland is a very important market for many British exports and despite continuing Russian opposition, it's pursuing stronger links with the West, a political point underlined by the Queen. We strongly support the enlargement of the European Union and of NATO. We welcome your aspirations to join these institutions. Earlier, sombre reminders of the Holocaust. The Queen and Prince Philip went to the site of a station from which 300,000 Jews were transported to Nazi death camps. A ceremony added after British Jews criticised the fact there'll be no visit to the most notorious camp, Auschwitz, in southern Poland. British officials insist there simply isn't time for the Queen to go there. I wish that every human being would visit, visit Auschwitz, but certainly I'm very grateful that the Queen is visiting here, the Jomschlagplatz, and paying tribute. It's not that, that she doesn't know, but the impression the visit to Auschwitz makes could be strong and perhaps have some consequences. Much happier thoughts in Warsaw's Old Town Square, entirely reconstructed after the devastation of World War II. It was the Queen's first Polish walkabout. Local corgis met the world's most famous corgi owner. Those close enough heard her remark that it made one feel so very much at home. More enthusiastic crowds, with or without corgis, are predicted tomorrow.